Before the following video starts, I just want to say make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and post notification down with get all notifications and leave a comment down below if you like this video. If you have one of size, we'll see a free one of my merchandise of a PS5 sign made with made with cardboard and used with some central paints that shows the PS5 logo. So only only free. Get your get your membership only at www.wonderstation.org Let's get in this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a fancy fountain. Now, in our last video, we basically worked on how to use dispensers to build your own lava pit trap. And it turns out that it's really great and impressive builds of using dispensers, but we're going to be making a fancy fountain that you could add into your, like, your casino, restaurant, house, mansion, or any other type of building you want in your own world. So if you want to make this, the materials you're going to need are falling. So please pay attention. So for the first step, we're going to need... So you're going to need your block of your choice. For this one, we'll be using block of quartz. Mm -hmm. Then, for your fountain, you can either grab yourself lava, but lava or water. I prefer water, cause lava will just make a whole mess and it'll destroy your world or your house. Just use water. We'll need some redstone dust, some redstone torches. We'll need dispensers. Then we'll need some wood or stone buttons. Let's see. What else we need? We got see block, block of quartz, water buckets, redstone, redstone torch, dispensers, buttons. And we'll also need some glowstone. <sighs> Alright, so once you have every material in your item, and if, what you want to build, you have to build now. For the first step to build your actual fancy fountain is that you dig down three blocks. So, one, two, and three. And then, where you see the bedrock, you must dig at least 11 blocks forward. Like that. One. And the bottom one as well, where you can see the bedrock. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna put the glowstone block just because it's nighttime. I want to see what I'm doing. So, once you have your eleven blocks dig forward, the next thing we want to come to is that, and you're, when you're still going straight, you're gonna be making your little a staircase. So a staircase, and then. Where you could come out of. So you want to have like a staircase right here. So you could dig out. So you can go to where you're at. So this is going to be part of the redstone. Comparing Arduino set. So we want to have something like this right here. Now for the first step right here. At the end of the tunnel. With the ones. No. At the end of the tunnel. The one without the staircase. Place one block on it. So. Um, let me, let me check here again. Uh, I think it's... Uh, which one is it? Is it this one? I'm not sure exactly, because... Uh, okay, so I think it's one block without the staircase. We'll just try that for now. Um, I think we'll place a redstone torch right here. Let me try something. Oh, wait a second. I had to delete that one block. So, delete that one block and then place the, place your redstone, your block of your choice, and then place the redstone torch there. Alright. We will now continue placing redstone coming, coming from the block here. 
So I like this one, two, three. I think from the whole area. Oh. <laughs> okay, place one on the ground and then place redstone torch on. Uh, on, on the ground. Off the time leaning from the torch halfway up the staircase. Wait a second. Okay, uh, I might go on a limb here, but this is, like, not correct. I believe this is not a correct build of how to build a fancy found if you don't know what you're doing. So, just go, keep going with redstone along your way. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second, I'm stupid, guys. So, I was placing block back there so I can have a staircase. So, the block you're actually talking about is, I think, this one right here. Let me look. Yeah, see? There's no staircase right here. So, I think it's that block right there. If we can uh, try that one. And then place the rest on torch right there. That's going to be our tunnel for our way out. So, we could we could build our little mechanism of these fancy found. So, delete this block right here. No, actually, that's going to be at my block right there. That's going to be the block that I placed there because I delete the stair. And then, I think once you're done here, you can now go ahead and grab your uh, addition, additional grass blocks and just carry that up so that people, people won't see the uh, bar and the mechanism. And all you have left is this block right here. This right here is the block that we placed the redstone torch on. So we're going to now go ahead. No, but wait. Wait a second. Um. Wait a, wait a second. I may have made a mistake here. Don't blame me, but the one circus you made. <sighs> Let's take that one block we had and then we'll. Tr hmm. So if you look closely at the picture, this is not like how a redstone. Project's built, but... Oh, what the freak? <sighs> so for this one, um, just place a quartz block up there, and then... Um... <sighs> this is, like, so confusing. One sec, guys. All right, guys. I figured it out. So, basically, this right here is where our fancy water fountain's gonna go. So, place the block of quartz black there, and then I was kind of reading the instructions wrong, but this is where we're gonna operate our little fountain at. So, right here, and then I think uh, with redstone on the top of that block we just made. Yeah, don't place anything redstone. Don't torch on it. So just place a row of redstone, and then come back here and then pl place a button right there. And then, if you have everything correctly, it should lay up that redstone. So yep. I think. Stop. Sorry guys. One sec. And then just place a redstone torch back there so that everything should work fine. Now go back to where you made that redstone torch. Yeah? And then basically place a your block of your cords, block of cords. And then place your redstone torch, and that should burn out. Then we want to do that. We want to create a little clock circuit with this one. So, with with, with three blocks, hmm? <sighs> three blocks going high. So that with rest with one redstone torch, and our block with a redstone torch is going to be burnt out. <sighs> and then one more block with a redstone should light up, like this right here. And on top of that block, place a dispenser. This is where the water is going to come out of. 
All right, now it's time to add our little contraption here where we're going to build our little decoration for Fancy Fountain. Where we're going to cover up those redstone torches. So by coming it all up, so you will be seeing, but only can be seeing the dispenser. So keep going all the way up with it by three, three blocks and create like a little rectangular prism. You don't want people to be suspicious of how this is like coming alive because you can't see most fountains with this. It's just a game. Like mostly, most fountains are not not circuited with like uh with basically they're not circuited with like redstone or batteries. It's just how fancy it's like sculpted by concrete and adding water to it. So here's what it's supposed to have, and then for the glowstones to basically if you're if you're nighttime or you want to make the little basic fat decoration, but basically this is what the glow is used for because basically we'll be in case you're at night time, you can actually see what you're doing. So you'll place a row of that and one on the top by the dispenser. And then we need we need them now is to make a. Hmm. We need, now we need to make a little base now. Our little base right here is going to be like where the water is going to come in. So with this, we're going to create a like row. Like row going two blocks back, like a row of your block, and then then creating it like this. Like you want to have like an octagon shape. Be, be generous, guys. Be generous. When octa when you build like an octagon shape, it, can, it has to be really creative and talented. Like for like a sculpture project, for example. Or otherwise, it'll just be look like a, not octagon shape, but it'll just be like a part of a tongue twister. You guys don't get what I'm saying, like, right? Okay, so this is not a really good octagon shape, because you see we have a corners right here. We want to have a corner, a corner block this way. And then we want to have another one over there. So we want to have like a corner block as well. Not that block. So you want to have like an open octagon shape, like... We have like a so basically the length. This is our length here. So the length, either the length or the width, because I cannot tell. Let's just call this the. No, this is actually the width right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks is our width. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six is our length. And our last, and our last part is we just need to add is our water. So place water in there. All right, and then now it's time to sell. So when you basically want to have a fancy fountain, if you want to become more sustainable, you'll press this button right here, and nothing. Wait, what? Wait, what did I did wrong here? Like, what did I did wrong here? Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. So, water was actually coming out of it. I think I had to wait before it comes out. So, let's go ahead and remove that one bucket. Place, so maybe place it in the center. Oh, get up off a little chain reaction. Just give it time. There we go. So, there. You have your own fanciest fountain. So, when water comes out, it just sits there. And if you want to, like... It, instead of using lava, which I recommend you not use because it's going to destroy your project, just click it back and it should delete all the water. And then press it again. It's like a little clock circuit. Now, anyways, before we do it, before we go, and that's how you make the fancy fountain. Now, before we go, I want to show you an actual basic clock circuit that we can actually use. So, before we go, Grab your block. Gracefully for this, you're going to grab a block of your choice, which is block of quartz, and grab yourself redstone dust, torches, and you grab yourself a lever. Grab yourself a lever. <laughs> and then a redstone repeater. And an observer. And go ahead and build at least a block going up. Basically, I'll be building build a block like with diagonals. I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. So, when, when, make a diagonal and place place redstone torches around the area, and 
for redstone, I want to come make a redstone circuit with this. So, place redstone here, then with a repeater, like this, and then have an observer, and then place a redstone torch there, and then with the lever, basically the lever doesn't do nothing, but mine just shows off a basic reaction. But, if you want to make an actual, like, water dispenser fountain, you can actually grab this. So, basically, this is how a, uh, chain reaction is supposed to go. So, by grabbing a dispenser and your water buckets to make an actual, like, clock circuit water fountain, you could just place... I just grab droppers instead of using the actual, an actual, uh, dispenser. So, just replace that with a dispenser, and then basically just come up there, you'll hear a tick, and then place water inside of your dispenser I'm sorry I'm not showing you guys but once I'm in there we wait maybe maybe it's got something to do with the observer we did maybe we face repeater away and then by adding that this way and this is uh, let's let's try this one hold on a second This one, man. We want we want the lava to come. Oh, there we go. So you place it like that, and then if you don't want it, so basically that's this is how a clock circuit. Uh, and that's basically how you can use the clock circuit to make an old lava your own lava or water fountain. Because due to the fact you can, it cannot be reset it. And just reset it back, and all the water should go away. Like that. I'll show you one more time. So yeah, that's just how, and that's how you can use a clock circuit to make an old fountain, your own fountain. So basically, have that, and then yeah, you could just use anything you want to create an old your own fountain with it using a clock circuit mod. Well, anyways, wonders. I have this is it for this. But you want to see more? <laughs> Head link down tomorrow. Um, I see we got a few a couple of endermans right here. Whoa. The endermans are teleported. So the hard thing is you look at them in the eyes, they could kill you. So basically we got some creepers here, but if you want to see more, link down below. And go ahead and check out my boys Ice Nice channel and some of the headquarters. And check out other my Minecraft videos if you want to. And then subscribe if you're new, comment if you like this video, and then basically turn on notifications to get videos every day. As always, thumbs up for safety. Like your bell cut.